Be careful if you head into the northern part of the county. That area is prone to avalanches. Why, thank you. Um, I'm assuming that anywhere with mountains is rather prone to avalanches. I might be wrong. Looks like the, uh, the pass up in there. Those towers are... I guess we'll find out, won't we? I've been looking for you. Oh, hello. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's really? Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving the up what? in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Um... Got to go. Uh... Uh, sir, I don't... I don't know any Jarls. I... I know Valley Counts. I don't... <sighs> right, let's see. See what we have here. Andinius well, Calamita well, uh, ancient city of Falkreath. Fame and exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think you have the wrong Ardinius Welk. How has this Jarl of Falkreath heard of me? Oh, look. Arrow slots. Perfect. Now, if only they had, um, actual gates here, we would have a proper defense. Always carry a good stock of potions and restoratives around with you. Never know when you're lying on the ground, bleeding out. Ha <laughs> ha Yes, um, right. Okay then. Hello? So this is Bruma. This is beautiful. It's a quite. Oh. I'm Bonus. My dad is Albecius. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Ardinius. You can call me Arden if you want children. Good afternoon. Uh, huh. Stranger. All right. Have you seen my dad? Uh, no. Are you all right? If I've told you once, wow. I've told you a thousand times. Look at this. The Chapel of St. Martin does not violate the terms of the White Gold Concordant. There is no Talos worship going on here. It violates the spirit of the White Gold Concordant. I must urge you nope. to cease and Sorry. at once. Nothing. Oh? What is the spirit of the White Gold Concordant? The spirit of the White Gold Concordant is that men are not and can never be gods. Just as Tiber Septim is not a god, nor is Martin Septim. But what does the Concordat actually say? The Concordat forbids Talos worship. No mention of Martin Septim worship, though? What are you looking at? I... No, there is Damnable isn't. tavern! Damnable owner! How dare you allow that my superior. Excuse me? Salacious display! Perhaps we will have to Scandalous. petition for a slight amendment to some unfortunately specific wording within the Concordat. We will you keep what? our eyes on your little cult, however. I'm sure you will. Ugh. Oh, look. Excuse an me. An infant. How quaint. <laughs> oh. Oh. I forgot. Why so condescending? Surely the better question would be, why so patient? Because I can tell you in no uncertain terms that you are trying my patience with your primitive blubbering and inane questions. Leave me. Excuse me? Why exactly are you walking around like you own the place? Oh, but we practically do. I presume even one such as yourself is aware of the White Gold Concordat, yes? Yes. That document guarantees the Thalmor the end of worship of that miserable little man-god the Nord so loved to falsely revere, Talos. We need to ensure that this agreement is upheld. Well, that doesn't exactly extend to Martin Septim, does it? Yes. Stranger, Bye. have you seen my dad? I've not. I, I think we, we spoke earlier, didn't we? All right. Oh, I'm so sick of them. We took back the Imperial City from these goons, and they still... whatever. Ha 
<laughs> okay. All right. All right. What? <laughs> Look at this place. Wow. Oh, and the rock is even... I have such a weakness for cathedrals. I'm sorry. Oh, and look at the stained glass. It's just so well done. I'm amazed. What are, are these all of the shrines? All of them? All of two, all of the eight? And, and it looks like Martin up at the... Ha! Huh. Okay, the Julianos? Yes? I think so. Julianos. Arctosh. Hello. Ha! <laughs> I'm sorry. I I don't know how any of this works, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Marcius Carve, the Viscount Bruma. The title garners a lot of respect and a fair few privileges. Anyway, uh, uh, how can I help you? Uh, uh, can I help I'm, you? I'm, I'm fine. I'm just, uh, pardon me while I stare slack jawed at your cathedral. That's, uh, that's all I'm here for. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. And this is going to be Debella. Yes? Yes. Excellent. And I don't think- is that- did they build this around an alien well? Is that what that is? I'm, uh, impressed. I'm a little bit in- I'm overly impressed, actually. This is- I'm Galarin, oh. Synod Hopeful. Oh. If you have any cuts or bruises, I'd be happy to practice my restoration on you. Oh, well, I will keep that in mind and get out of your way. Hm. Synod, huh? Hello. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I'm just in the way today. It's this armor, I swear. Kinnereth? That's beautiful. Mara, of course. The mother. Did, did I just... Uh, okay. Zenithar, the craftsman. And an anvil. And this will be Stenda, yes? Excellent. All eight. What a beautiful place. I probably should keep my voice down. Although, that certainly doesn't stop some people. So, uh, you're the Viscount, yes? I am Marcius Carvain, Viscount Bruma, at right. your service. Have you read my book by any chance? Huh. Uh, you, uh, you wrote a book? Yes, an explorer's guide to Skyrim. Very popular in Skyrim. Seems to turn up in the most unusual of places. <laughs> well, I will certainly keep my eye out for it. I... if I'm ever in Skyrim. Bye. Obviously I'm headed there, but, uh, well that was interesting. What can Viscount Bruma do for you? Uh, I was just leaving, actually, but uh, good to meet you, sir. I'll be in city for, I'm thinking, possibly a night or so? Plan to be out of here in the morning. We'll find out if that actually... I'm sorry, this is just breathtaking. Ah. <laughs> uh. I get far too excited about architecture, I promise. It is the one thing that I will always be excited about. Now, where is the inn? That's what I want to know. An inn or a general goods store, either one. I'm alright with setting up camp outside of the walls. Well met, Rilja. Well, this nope. is a bit of Sorry. a surprise. Uh, like what brings you to my down stall? that way? 
There goes the bike count. His birthday is coming up soon. My wife says he likes your Every little coffee trinkets. only costs ten cents. So I was thinking of buying. I wonder what he's selling. With all due respect, I got a pretty good sir. selection of attire These here. These aren't it's just um. Here, clothing salesman. And Can I help you? Nope. Please. We get out of your way. Heal wounds. Oh. Restore willpower. Regain your energy. Hold on. Potions for sale here. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Hello. Oh, uh, greetings, customer. Would you like to buy some new apparel? Ah, uh, I would. Fine goods, what fair got prices. Sale? Let's see if he has anything that is appropriate to Skyrim. Actually, would you like to take, um... Would you like to take this off my hands? Oh, why? Well, thank you. That would be uh, excellent. Let's see. Um, uh, well, that's interesting, but I cannot afford it. Tunic, robes, robes, <laughs> boots. Ah, uh, not really one for circlets, actually. Oh wow, <laughs> that is very. Very purple. Where did you get that dye? Oh. A uh, fur hood might actually come in handy up north. Um, if I could just, uh, purchase that one from you, maybe? Let's see. Yes, excellent, thank you. You, um, how's business? All right, I suppose. My sales pitch isn't very good, I know, but I still get a fair few customers. Everyone needs something to wear, I guess. <laughs> well, you've got that right. You seem a bit uh, nervous. You can tell, huh? Yeah, I'm not exactly the best salesman. Don't exactly like being one either. Don't worry, though. I'm a much better tailor than I am a merchant. That's good to know. Why are you a merchant you if know, you don't I like being one? I thought about doing something else. Becoming an adventurer or whatnot. It's just, well, I'm not cut out for that kind of lifestyle. <laughs> well, As my good ma always said, Gryfard, my worthless, good-for-nothing son, you gotta do something with your life. <laughs> and since you seem to be better at sewing than spellcasting, you'd best become a clothing merchant. So, here I am. Well, that's yeah, quite a she's story. she's a lovely woman, my mother. Powerful mage, too. Oh, really? If you see her around these parts, though, you warn me right away. She's the reason I left High Rock. Oh, you're a Breton, of course, and I will do that if I see anyone, um, any powerful mages Talk around to you here. Later. Yes, and a good day to you as well. Let's see what that hood actually looks like. A rather an odd-sized head. It might not fit me. We'll find out. Well, it fits. Uh, it's a little bit thin, I think, but. It will be useful to have along anyway. Uh, thank you, Mr. Petten. I'll make sure to tell you if you're. M uh... What are those? What is it? Oh, sorry. Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm just looking at the. Um... What is it? I I'm just looking at the stall here. Don't. No need to. Uh... Sorry. I just want Hello. to. Hello. What? Is all this? There's a there's a war. Whoever this is has a war horn. Look at that and wow. And and it's right under. The, look at look at these artifacts. I wonder who runs this stall. Hello. It uh is it you? Uh do you do you run this stall by any chance? I'm assuming not. Ah. Uh, I wonder who does. This is beautiful. Respect the law. Respect uh, yourself. Yes, sir. Absolutely. There's a cr uh, there's a hawk up there somewhere. Um, this is not a store. It looks like civilian. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know? Uh, probably. I don't know. The restful watchman. That looks like the name of an inn to me. Let's go check this out, shall we? Oh. Um. What am I saying? Can I help now? you? Can I help you? 
Oh, uh, nope, nope. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Can Hello? I help you? Got rooms. I've got food and drinks and a thousand elven ladies under my belt. <laughs> um. See you. Yes. No, thank you. Oh. Uh, I'll just be on my way. Have a good day, gentlemen. <laughs> I don't think that's the right inn. That was, um... Interesting. <laughs> uh, this is a butcher, it looks like. That will be excellent. Oh, hello. Good oh, evening. Always good to see another customer here at the butcher's. Excellent. Um... What do you have for sale, by chance? Fine goods, fair prices. Excellent. Let me just, um... Is there anything that I could give you that you could work on that would be... Uh, you wouldn't happen to be able to take this, by any chance? That'd be excellent. And I picked up some venison... Uh, let's see here. Oh, pheasant. I will take some pheasant. That would be excellent. Uh, trout. Absolutely. Uh, did I, did I give you the venison? I don't think I did. Here you go. We'll make a trade out of it, shall we? I think that'll do for now. I don't see many, uh... Skingrad didn't have as many lucrative opportunities as I would have liked, so I got thinking. How can I make my fortune? Oh, you're from Skingrad. One of my friends, a Nord guy by the name of Nolir. He was insane for meat. Put a stake in front of his face and throw it all the way to Coral. He'd run <laughs> after it like a rabid dog. He gave me the idea. I thought to myself, if the Nords love meat so much, why not cater directly to that need? Cut out the innkeeper, middleman, and let the Nords come to a dedicated butcher? And so I did exactly that. Smart. Excellent. Uh, you get good so, business then. So. I mean, it's good, and I'm earning a decent living, but I guess I expected more. Really? Here in Bruma, the most Nordic place in all Cyrodiil, I expected my meat to be selling by the bucket load. Nords and their appetite for meat and all. Right. Seems what I didn't consider is that the Nords love meat just as much as they love fighting. They'll go out and strangle a deer to death, which you can probably guess undermines my business somewhat. Still, I'm doing all right for a butcher. That's, um... Now that is hilarious. Bye. Uh, good business to you, sir, and have a nice evening. Where in oblivion is the inn? I feel like I must have passed it by now. 